Happy birthday, Milo. <laughs> it's like, what? I don't care. I want to get the cat. Oh, no, he don't want to get the cat. What does he want to get? Let's go see. Let's go see. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Milo's birthday. He's one years old, and I don't know where he went. Where did he go? There he is. He was getting a bone. <laughs> he was getting a bone? Huh? He was getting a bone? <laughs> He's growling. He's like, get back. This is my bone. This is my bone. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, it is Friday and it is almost 11.30. And I just got this package delivered and put up. It is a gate to keep the dogs from going upstairs. And it has an opening for kitten. And I've been watching to see. Milo sniffed it. He's the only one I'm worried about trying to go through that hole that I think could fit. Now they probably all could squeeze through there, but Milo's the one that wants to go upstairs constantly and eat cat poop. So I'm wondering if there's something I could put that I could rig up to maybe make the hole a little bit um, shorter. Cause I know Kitten could slink through there still. But we're gonna see, if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna have to put the gate upstairs across the door, cause Kitten can jump over this gate. This gate isn't too tall for him, but right here, if he tried to jump like towards me, I would be scared because he just has his step to, to land on. And he's an older cat, so we're gonna leave that there today, cause my son can step over that, no problem. And he can take it down if he's gotta carry something upstairs. But I'm gonna leave it there today and see um, if I have any problems with any dogs um, going through it. And then this thing here, I don't like that it um, it won't stay over. So I'm gonna have to uh, cable tie that to one of the other bars because I'm scared that Kit could push it, close it, and then he can't get back through the hole. So. Um, I'll link it down below in our Amazon store. It's a really nice gate. I'm just worried that hole's too big. And then, like I said, that door doesn't stay over. I, I wish it had some kind of a clip or something on it to keep it held over, but a cable tie will work just fine. So, yeah, I like it because it's a shorter gate. You can step over it. Um, and it's made really well. It's metal. It's made really well. So, okay, we'll see. We'll see if that keeps little Milo a little stinker butt <laughs> out from upstairs. I mean, Marley and Miggy have also caught up there too, but Milo's the worst offender. Yes, he is. He is the worst offender. Oh, I bought some new dog ice cream I saw at Meyer. I've never seen it before. So let me go get that out of the freezer out of the garage and show it to you. Here is um, the name of the gate, Little Tuffy. Little Tuffy, expandable gate with small pet door. Model 0618DS. And here's the um, opening size for it. Like I said, I'll have it linked down below if you're interested. In, if you guys need something like that. I also ordered Mozzie's um, Denimarin on Amazon. It's just a supplement, so it's not, um, you don't have to have a prescription for it. Um, so I ordered that online. These aren't the chewables, so I'm going to have to get up and... <laughs> wrap it in a small, I, I wrap their pills in a small piece of cheese and they just swallow them right down. Um, so I'll just have to get up and come to the kitchen in the middle of the night instead of being able to just to hand them a piece. But it was cheaper. I think it was 40, it was either 38 or $48. I'll have to look and tape it here on the screen. I can't remember how much it was, but um, I think at 38, I can't remember though. Um, but it's cheaper on Amazon because at the vet I was paying I think $60 so maybe it was 48 well you guys will know uh, here soon because you'll see it on the screen <laughs> okay um, so here's the um, doggy ice cream I saw um, it's called the bear and the rat cool treats for dogs .com. Frozen yogurt dog treat flavored with banana and peanut butter. I think there was also one that was bake, maybe bacon and peanut butter. Um, I can't remember. So, but this one's made with yogurt. 
I don't think Frosty Paws is. I just looked on the Frosty Paws website and their minimum fat is 6.5%. And the minimum fat on this one is 2%. So this is a lot less fat um, in this brand. So I thought since it's been such a crazy, <laughs> it was a crazy day yesterday. Here, let me put these back in the freezer. Um, it was a crazy day yesterday with um, the accident. Um, I was going to try not to show you guys my pile of laundry there, but oh well. <laughs> a crazy day with the accident. Um, do you want to go outside with the other boys, Mozzie? Do you want to go outside? Everybody else is outside. You want to go? Come on, let's go. Come on. Um, and you're right, you guys, thank God they were okay because I kept thinking about it in my mind the rest of the day. And, um, I kept thinking, God, what if I was on my way to the hospital instead of on my way just to the accident to pick them up? Um, so I'm very thankful that, um, neither one were hurt. Um, my son was, um, his arm and his legs a little sore from the side because he got hit got hit on his side he was driving um and so his left arm and left leg are feeling it a little and my my husband's neck uh was sore last night so as soon as I got him home I made them um both take Tylenol um and my husband my son's still in bed uh my husband said that he's feeling better today so um yeah so you're, you're right, the truck can be replaced. And I accidentally said no fault insurance. I meant we're a no fault state. My son had PLPD insurance. And the um, police officer at the scene said that she thinks maybe he could get a thousand bucks. I don't know, she said she didn't know um, for sure, but with PLPD and uh, being a no fault state, he's pretty much gonna be out most of the money, the 3,400 he spent on it, so. But we're going to help him out and um, hopefully be able to get him something. It may not be as what he wanted. He really wanted an S10 truck. Um, I don't know. We're going to try to help him out uh, here by the end of the month. We, we shall see. Um, I'm just glad they're both okay. But anyways, yes, yesterday was crazy. So I didn't get to McDonald's um, <laughs> to get Mickey and Milo their ice cream. But today's Milo's birthday, so today they're gonna have those doggy ice creams I found yesterday. And um, I'm glad they're less fat, I'm so excited. So this may be their new birthday treat and instead of going to McDonald's, because I'm sure McDonald's kid cones, even though they're small, I'm sure they're higher in fat too than these yogurt um, ice creams. So um, another thing that happened yesterday was I found out, um, I'm going to share a little bit about myself here. Um, I found out that my uncle, who had been in jail previously um, for molesting his children and having child pornography, before, before that happened with his children, um, he had molested myself my sister and my cousin. I knew about my sister and I, I didn't know about my cousin, but all three of us never said anything to our family. Uh, we were young, I think I was in third grade. My sister was even younger and uh, my cousin was about my sister's age. They were probably maybe four, four years old, maybe five years old when it happened. Um, but we never said anything until he was, the day he was arrested um, Max, what are you doing? He's trying to eat poop. Look at him. Max, -a. Max. I was about to say Maximus. <laughs> That's his full name. <laughs> Max are bad. Um, so yeah, until the day he was arrested, we never told our family. Well, then it all came out. Um, and he served, I think it was 17 years. For what he did to his kids and actually I believe to a couple of their friends I'm not I 
I'm not totally for sure. He um, took a plea bargain. Um, I was actually subpoenaed if it went to trial to have to testify to him against him, and I'm glad he took a plea deal because I, I didn't want to go through that. He served 17 years, and yesterday I found out that he was arrested again for harming another child, and it breaks my heart because I feel guilt. I used to... I feel guilt now and I felt guilt when he I found out he hurt his children because I felt like if we were oh, Marley's going potty I felt like if we would have spoke up then they may not the kids may not even be here and I'm glad they're here and they have wonderful lives now but maybe they never would have been hurt um, and now I feel horrible and I I was so upset yesterday over this and the accident um, that another person was hurt. Another child was hurt. He has, I believe, four counts against him. Um, yeah, so it's just, it was an emotional day yesterday. Um, I was emotionally drained. And, uh, but I wanted to say too that even <laughs> with all of that, even with all that sadness, I came home um, after picking up my son and husband and we had talked and stuff and I came outside with the boys and you saw that clip with them outside and um, they were so happy and it was almost like they were smiling at us and uh, they just bring so much joy <laughs> to my life and it totally takes that sadness away. Um, to see them just so happy in their new yard and playing and Magnum was running toward me like he had this big smile on his face because he's such a guard dog and he he loves patrolling the yard. <laughs> he loves patrolling the yard. I'm sorry, I'm wiping away tears. <laughs> um, yeah, but these dogs bring so much joy to my life and I think because of the some of the heartache I've been through in my life um, with other things too. Magnum, Magnum, you can't bury that bone over there. No. He's trying to find somewhere to bury the bone. <laughs> no, Magnum, Magnum, you got to either eat it or I got to take it from you because you cannot dig. Okay? You want me to go hide it? I will go hide it for you. You cannot dig in the yard. No. No. We cannot do that. So I will t You want it. Okay. No digging. <laughs> He's the only one that... Well, Milo did it when he was a little younger. Um, he hasn't done it that I know of lately. But Magnum does it all the time. Trying to bury bones. Um, so, yeah. Um, these boys quickly got me over my sadness. And... Uh, Today, it's, it's, it's hot, but it's a beautiful sunny day, and I'm gonna enjoy it. I actually bought the boys a little pool, kiddie pool. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a little bit of water on it, in it, I'm sorry, in it, and uh, put it on the back porch and see if I can uh, coax any of them into it. I doubt it. I'll probably have to throw them into it. <laughs> oh, you got a bone too. You found a bone too, or you brought a bone out? <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's a new day, and we're going to be happy, we're going to enjoy it, and things are going to be better from here, right? And Milo is one years old, and he's a happy pup. Uh, he came to us out of a bad situation, and he's so happy now, and I'm so happy God brought him into our lives, because <laughs> he makes us laugh all the time, even though he's a little stinker. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I will come back when... Um, I give them their uh, new doggy ice cream to try out. We'll see how they like it and uh, when I get the pool out. And we'll see if they like that. <laughs> They'll probably just try to drink the water. I don't know. We'll see. I thought maybe it helped cool them down a little. They could just walk in it. We'll see. All right. We'll be back. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the other flowers that we planted. Here they are. This is kind of our patch of pink and purple. 
we had no rhyme or reason to this uh, little flower bud, um, except just put pretty flowers in it. And here's those lilies. We finally opened some of them. Well, one of them. Really pretty. It's kind of a mishmash of flowers in here, but I think it's really pretty. Here's the other side. Doing really good. These daylilies, um, I've been reading how to uh, um, separate them because they're really thick. I want to thin them out. So, and it says it's best to do them after the flowering season's over. So, I'll have to uh, thin those out in the, I'm assuming late fall. I'm not sure. I'm new to all this with the flowers. Um, these daisies here always are droopy. Um, they're always droopy. So, the other ones on the other side were doing it. Now, these ones here in front, these ones don't do it, but these have been. So, I don't know if their roots have to get established more and they won't do it anymore. I don't know. But they always perk up at night. So, um, and then these ones here. I think these are really cool too. I'm hoping these flowers I picked out will spread out in time. Fill it in a little bit more, I hope. We shall see. But these are the newest ones we picked and put on this side. They look kind of bushy, so I'm assuming these ones would spread out some. Um, we shall see. Okay. I came out the right door. Some people said, won't your dog slip out the door? I came out that door um, the other day and people asked if they'd try to get out. So I came out the right door. The one I said is good for, because um, it has two doors so my dogs can't slip out. So you come in this glass door and then you have this, um, oh, my camera is out of focus. Um, and you come in here, that door will shut, and then I can come in here, and I can guarantee you all the boys are standing on the other side of this door. Yes. <laughs> oh, four, five, six, there's the other one. I'm working on my laundry, guys. Working on my laundry. They're like, where'd you go, Mom? Where'd you go without us? <laughs> all right, that's an update on the flowers. You guys want to go in it? You boys want to go in it? <laughs> See, it's going to be a big water dish. <laughs> they think it's just a big water bowl. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mazzy, you're supposed to go in it. Let's see what Milo does. Nothing. He's just sneaking by it to get the bone. It. <laughs> I think the um, people are here to plant some grass seed and put down some straw, so I have to take them in. Look at Mazzy. Let's see what Marley does. Or no, that's Miggy. Sorry. I'm looking through the screen. I thought that was Marley. You gonna get a drink too, Miggy? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll have to uh, bring them out later when they're not here planting grass and uh, put them in there and see what they do. Look at my, <laughs> Max. Max, is that a big water dish? <laughs> water dish. Okay, we'll be back.
A lot of you have been leaving comments wondering where I purchased the uh, Schnauzer um, dog pillows. Um, they're actually made for kids. <laughs> um, they're uh, called Pillow Chums, I believe, and I think they're made by Kelly Toys. I'm not totally for sure. I cut the tags off of them, and I got them at Aldi a while back. I think I got them in January or February at Aldi, and I haven't seen them since. Um, I know Costco had them one time, but I think it's been a couple years now. I don't know if they've had them back since, but they're called Pillow Chums, and I believe they're by Kelly Toys. So you may be able to uh, type that in in Google and find them online. I'm not sure if they sell them online or not. Um, I think they were like $15 at Aldi. Um, my dogs love them, and you can throw them right in your washing machine. Unless you got a really small washing machine, throw them right in your washing machine wash them, dry them, and they fluff up great and clean great. So that's where I got them. Aldi.